Hi, my name is Andrei Asuchuk. I help companies to get value from their investments in Adobe Analytics. I am an Adobe Certified Expert with 9 years experience and provide consulting implementation, data analysis and training services. I am doing an audit of the Deutsche Post website and in this video you will get to know how to correctly implement Global Report Suite in Adobe Analytics. Let's get started. I am on the home page of the Deutsche Post website and I will be doing two validations. Number one, I want to make sure that every website that belongs to Deutsche Post sends data to Adobe Analytics to Global Report Suite. Number two, I want to make sure that the visitor identification is implemented across all of the websites or in other words that visitors are correctly identified across different domains. Let's get started and see what has been sent from this page. We can see in the beacon that the data is sent to two report suites. The second one, which is Deutsche Post AG Global Prod, is the global report suite. And this is good since we now know what is the global report suite and we know that the data is sent to it. Now let's have a look at how the visitors are identified. In this case, we can see MID parameter. This parameter is populated by visitor ID service or marketing cloud ID service or experience cloud ID service. And this is actually my current unique identifier. And having this identifier, Adobe Analytics will uh, correctly calculate visits and unique visitors on the back end. All my page views or server calls will be associated with this value. Now let's switch to another website. This will be dhl.de and let's have a look at the beacon. Again the data is sent to the production global report suite. And the second validation is again about visitor ID. And here we do not see MID parameter, but we can see FID parameter. FID parameter is what I call old school visitor identification method. This is the problem for this implementation of the global report suite because I am the same visitor, but now I am identified on the back end of Adobe Analytics with a different identifier which will result in two unique visitors in the reporting and we understand that this will inflate the number of unique visitors and the global report suite won't be accurate for many metrics because of that. Now let's switch to the third website and this is deutschepost.com and again we'll need to check the beacon. The data is again sent to the global report suite, which is good. However, if we take a look at the identifier, we again see FID. And this FID, as you may already notice, it's different in comparison to the FID on the previous page. Let's have a look at it again. So two different identifiers. This means that in the global report suite I'm already reported as three unique visitors. My sessions on these three domains will not be merged with the same unique ID and this is not good. Now let's switch to the fourth website. This is Swiss version of DHL and we can see that no data is sent to Adobe Analytics. And this is bad because in this case the company will not have full picture of all their audience, of all their audience of their web properties. Now let's have a look at the fifth website, which is one of the subdomains of Deutsche Post.de. And this is the page where visitors or customers can subscribe to newsletter. Let's have a look at what has been sent to Adobe Analytics. And we can recognize quickly that the data is not sent to the global report suite. 
And this is again a problem because the company will not have full picture of their audience. For sure, it makes sense to validate many more websites, basically all of the websites of the company. But for this video, I won't validate all of the websites, but I think that these five websites gave us a lot of information for uh, actions. So the summary of this video is that there are two problems that have been found. Number one, not all of the websites are tracked by Adobe Analytics. And the negative impact of that is that the company doesn't measure all their audience across all of their websites. And as a result of that, they do not know the size of their audience. The second problem is that on those websites where Adobe Analytics is implemented, they have inflated number of unique visitors since on a part of the websites they have visitor ID implemented and this is the best practice for Adobe Analytics implementation but on the other sites they do not have visitor ID implemented and they have different unique visitors on different websites and all of that inflates the number of unique visitors in their global report suite. The negative impact of that is that all of the metrics that depend on visits and unique visitors get inaccurate. Meaning that if, for example, they track customer acquisition cost and now instead of one unique visitors, they have three unique visitors, their customer acquisition cost becomes much lower than it should have been because they could see that they acquired three visitors or three customers or three prospects. But in reality, I was a single unique visitor. So it was just an example to explain how this impacts the reporting and the insights that the analysts could uh, look for in their data. Hope this video was helpful for you and now you understand how to properly implement the global report suite, what you should validate in order to make sure that everything will be accurately tracked and reported in Adobe Analytics. Hope this video was helpful for you. Click like, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss new video uploads to my channel. Thank you.